Hello YouTube and welcome to another one of my Duel Links videos. So today I have for you an Elemental Hero Blazeman beatdown deck. Um, now before we get into the deck list, I am fully aware that this deck is not available for those of you that are free to play. You do need, it. I do run three Elemental Hero Blazeman and the only way to get those is with real money because you can only buy one structure deck. Um, with your gems you know if you want more copies of the structure deck you need to buy it with money so i'm fully aware that this is not available for everyone out there and i i do apologize for that um somebody requested an elemental here uh somebody requested a elemental hero deck using uh, multiple copies of blazeman and i was playing around with it this is what came up so i apologize for that but um, hopefully you can still enjoy the video um, but anyway let's get into the deck list so I have three elemental hero blazemen obviously when this card is normal summon or special summon you can search one polymerization from your deck uh, however I do not run any polymerization because this deck uh, does not fuse at all uh, I actually uh, focus on a different style of gameplay with elemental heroes uh, but we'll, we'll get into that. Now the second effect of placement is very important. Um, during your main phase you can activate this effect. You cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn except fusion monsters. So basically you can special summon monsters during the turn you activate this. You just have to do it before you activate placement effect. Uh, and that's very important and it, it does come up a lot so make sure you remember that if you try to play this deck uh, after that you can send one elemental hero monster from your deck to the graveyard uh, except himself and if you do discards attribute attack and defense each become the same at the, at the, as the monster sent to the graveyard until the end of this turn uh, you can only activate this once per turn so basically if you send um, elemental hero ne neos with Blazeman, uh, your Blazeman is going to be 2500 attack, 2000 defense, and uh, light attribute for the rest of this turn. Now, this is very important for two things. Number one, you get a 4 star 2500 attack monster. Uh, it gets over Red Eyes, it gets over Phoenix. It's it's just really good. Even if it, it only lasts until the end of the turn, it's still a good effect. And the second part of it is you're milling elemental hero neos into the graveyard so you're thinning your deck one which is good two you're uh, eliminating a chance of drawing into this card if because you don't you really don't want to draw it uh, that much but you have to run three because uh, you know to help with the consistency of the deck so it's it just works really well so we're running three elemental hero ne neos uh, one elemental hero Necroshade, which is another card that you that you want to mill out with Blazeman. Basically, what this card does is once while it's in the graveyard, you can special summon a level five or higher elemental hero monster from your uh, from your hand without uh, tribute. So you can send this with Blazeman, and then you can normal summon Neos from your hand without tributing. So really, really strong. You know, it's one of the ways we bring out Elemental Hero Neos because he has two tributes uh, and you don't want to be tributing in order to bring him out. Uh, the way we bring him out, you know, one example was using Necroshade. Another one we have Oversoul, which uh, you just target one Elemental Hero normal monster in your graveyard and you special summon it. So the only target that we have for that is Neos. Um, I only have one of these. You can get a second one by getting Jaden to level 38. I'm just not there yet so I only run one and as a replacement I run uh, Soul Resurrection which I really like um, you know same thing you can special summon a normal monster from your graveyard uh, in defense position so most of the times you want to activate this during your opponent's end phase um, so that when it's your turn you can flip it to attack mode uh, I wouldn't run two Soul Resurrection because this deck is uh, has a lot of back row so you know one soul resurrection one oversoul uh two oversoul if you want uh another card that i'm using to special summon uh neos is a hero emerges this card is it's kind of cool 
it's it's a little bit situational but it works really well uh, when an opponent monster declares an attack your opponent chooses one random card from your hand then if it is a monster that can be special summoned special summon it otherwise send it to the graveyard so obviously the way you want to use this card safely is by only activating it when you have monsters uh, basically or when you have you know three months two monsters and one spell or three monsters and one spell just when you have a high chance or a guarantee that you're gonna be able to special summon a monster uh, so you know you can bring out nails with this you can bring out uh, any of the monsters in this deck because they can all be special summoned uh, we run one floodgate trap hole because it's just a fantastic trap um, the more I use it the more I like it very versatile against every deck to be honest so that's why it's here two enemy controllers for the obvious protection uh, because your blazeman is very weak during your opponent's turn it's only at 1200 it's got 1800 defense but most of the time you're gonna have it in attack mode uh, I run three elemental hero heat because this is basically an 1800 uh, elemental hero and that's as good as it's get it's 1600 but it gains 200 attack for each elemental hero monster you control including itself so on summon it becomes uh, 1800 and you know as you're having more heroes on the field it can get very very strong uh, we run two mirror wall for protection and also to trigger or um, skill which is where the heroes dwell uh, this card when you lose 2000 I mean not, not this card the skill when you lose uh, 2000 life points you can uh, you can activate sky skyscraper which is a it's a field spell that that adds 1000 effect 1000 attack to all your attacking elemental hero monsters as long as their attack is less than the monster they're attacking so if you attack a red eyes with element, uh, elemental hero heat while you have this the field spell his attack is going to go up to 2800 so you can easily get over it um, very good very good card and then we run the two champions vigilance just for the for the neos uh, you know to have the negation for pretty much anything you want and that's it for the deck I'm sorry that it was a very very long um, explanation I kinda I don't know I haven't recorded in a while so I'm a little rusty but anyway let's go ahead and get into this replace I will add a timestamp on the description for those of you that um, you know wanna skip the wanna skip to the gameplay but I guess it's a little too late to say that because we are here in the gameplay so we're going up against Bandit Keith and this person was actually running um, a deck that I'm very familiar with uh, not exactly the way I run it but very very close he's running a legendary ocean with uh, you know Giga Gaga Giga uh, one of the deck that one of the decks that I built with the help of my uh, my viewers during the Twitch stream I mean during the YouTube stream so I go ahead and activate the enemy controller because I have another one and you know I wanted to trigger the back row or trigger whatever was in his hand. He did have the Kribo. Uh, he goes for the BS uh, Crystal Core. I have the mirror wall though and I pay for the mirror wall so that I can activate my uh, field spell. After I milled my you know my uh, Neos with Blazeman I go ahead and mill a second I mean, I mill my uh, Necromancer, Necroshade, I'm sorry, two, two normal summon the other elemental hero Neos from my hand without a tribute. Unlucky for me, my opponent had the, the mirror wall and he goes for uh, Levia Dragon, but I have the Econ take, so he's not able to, uh, you know, completely wipe the board. And because of my field spell, I can easily get over both of his monsters and just attack directly with my 2200 uh, elemental hero heat. I feel like I was behind on that replay the whole time, so I'm gonna try to do a little bit better. But you see the combos basically, you mill your Neos, uh, you bring it back from the grave, or you mill your uh, Necroshade in order to summon it if you happen to draw it, and you know, everything else is protection. So you really, really want to start with Blazeman uh, in order to get your combos off. That's why it's important to have three in the deck, even though it's not, you know, accessible for everyone. And here my opponent goes Dark Paladin, turn one. Uh, so he has one spell negation. Very unfortunate for me. 
but I do have some plays coming up. I go ahead and uh, send my my Neos to the grave. He goes for Mirror Dragon, so I have to prematurely activate my Mirror Wall, and this was a misplay. For some reason, I thought that um, the Fuel Spell was added to my hand, because I don't think uh, Dark Paladin can negate a skill. So I kind of waste my enemy controller, and also, had he dropped the Dragon, I would have been in a lot of trouble, so that was definitely a misplay. Uh, but I wasn't thinking too clearly, so I activate my fuel, uh, my skill to get my fuel spell. You know, uh, send the necro, necro shade from my deck to normal summon Neos from my hand, and then uh, because of the fuel spell, I'm able to get over the Dark Paladin and uh, you know just attack him directly. I, I dump another uh, Neos to get my placement to 2500, but I had. A lot of damage on the board, and I believe my last card was uh, Champs, Champions Vigilance, so I was in full control of the game from that point on. Go ahead and show you this next replay. And I, I'll definitely revisit uh, Elemental Heroes, you know, the fusions and all that, but um, I was playing around with Blazeman. Uh, I did pick up three of the structure packs, and this is this deck came up. Uh, it was really fun. I mean, the ladder just reset, so um, I was able to use it successfully. Here we're going up against Balanced Red Eyes, I believe. Is that what that was? Yeah, Balanced Red Eyes. Full back row. We know at least one of them is a Red Eyes Spirits, and there it is. And this is what I was talking about. Unfortunately, I drew another spell, so um, I have to chance it and activate my Hero Emerges. Obviously, if he picked the Oversoul, I would have lost it. Uh, however, he uses Champion's Vigilance, so I, I'm completely okay with that. I activate my skill, that's why I took the damage. And, like I was telling you, my Elemental Hero Heat goes all the way to 2800. Easily getting over the Red Eyes. Uh, he's got the inside, so he's picking up another Red Eyes Spirit. And I pick up another... Um, Heat, which doesn't matter that he uses his spirit because my fuel spell is gonna give me a 1000 boost when attacking the red eyes. I go ahead and tribute summon here because I have the vigilance in order to negate whatever last card he said. Uh, turns out it wasn't anything that could help him, so I just end up winning the game. Uh, Beatdown red eyes is definitely different, but uh, I did face a few balanced red eyes and the deck does fairly well. Uh, you know, just because Neos is 100 attack more and you know they, a lot of times those decks don't run any way to buff their monsters. Uh, so here I have an, a full on anime replay. Uh, this duel was really fun. We're going up against Chaz and he's running uh, Ojamas. So we're going first. Go ahead and set our two back row uh, and mill uh, Necromancer. He goes for the polymerization immediately, summoning uh, the Knight. He's gonna lock two of my back row, but I wasn't worried because I had the enemy controller and I also had the mirror wall. Smartly, he doesn't attack; he just waits it out, and then I draw into Bloodgate, which is just more uh, more protection for my placement. I try to attack the um, the knight by using an enemy controller, but he has the half shot, so I can't destroy it. And again, he doesn't attack. I go ahead and mill another Neos and decide to just crash. He activates his uh, field spell, but I was expecting that, and I had the the floodgate ready. There we go. So now he can't flip it into attack mode. He, ha he has a blazement of his own, which was kind of surprising, um, you know, to search out his polymerization. I get the 1200 damage. However, my blazement uh, is stronger because I actually have elemental heroes that I can dump. He goes to 1600 and, you know, destroy it easily. Uh, I decide to wait on, you know, attacking the, the knight because I wanted to fill up my field first before giving him a chance to bring it back with the fuel spell and also I wanted my champion's vigilance um, you know to be live which came in really really clutch because he, this guy was taking uh, Gamushara 
a really cool car because you know the easiest way of dealing with the Aljamas is just by flipping them into defense mode and he had that cover there luckily for me my champions vigilance came through and I'm able to just uh, end the game right there kind of a cool anime like replay and for our last replay I believe this is another red eyes deck Uh, and because it's Mako, it's another uh, balance. Balance Red Eyes and Platinum. Uh, I mean, the, it's early on into the season, so it makes sense that they haven't got they haven't gotten to Legend yet. He's got the cards of the Redstone. We're gonna see a full back row. He's got the inside too. So he's getting all his combo pieces, milling his deck. Goes for the full back row and immediately activates uh, Red Eye Spirit, which let me know that he had uh, Champion's Vigilance. He doesn't activate it on on my placement, though. I don't know if he didn't realize what I was gonna do, but I'm able to dump my Neos and easily get over that Red Eyes. And during his end phase, I activate my Soul Resurrection. He's got the Floodgate, which I believe was the card that. Uh, was activatable because when I first summoned Blazeman there was a long delay. I go ahead and send my Necromancer uh, so that I can summon Neos from my hand but he's got the Champion's Vigilance so so far we've seen two Red Eye Spirits, one Champion's Vigilance, one Floodgate. I want you guys to remember that because it's important. Um, so here I activate my Oversoul. I have my Champion's Vigilance uh, set so I'm not worried about that back row. I summon my uh, elemental hero Heat and then he rage quits. Which I just found completely ironic that, you know, he got his champion's vigilance off, he got his floodgate, he's got his red eye spirit, and he was still salty that he lost. I mean, you you know, you running the cancer, but you know, you feel entitled to get salty over a game like that. Anyway, I thought it was a good win. Uh, again, oh, I am running an extra deck, but it's just as a bluff. Obviously, those cards have nothing to do with the deck. But I hope, like, I hope you likes enjoyed this video. Again, I apologize. I do know that this is not something that everyone can build. Hopefully, you can just watch it for the entertainment factor, and you know, and you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe if you want. Uh, join my Discord if you haven't. Link will be in the description. Till next time.